was that in the last country? Yeah. yeah! Oh, wow, you actually happy. Um, this is good. No, I'm actually a really, really experienced kid from a kid from the West Country. By the age of seven, I could successfully recognise one out of two of my parents. And um, I still had both of my parents, so do better than the North. Um, oh, oh, offending the locals. Get smart, kiddo. Um, yeah, and I also, when I left primary school, so we're talking about 11 now, in my yearbook, voted girl least likely to have her brother's baby. <laughs> Mainly because my brother's an ugly fucker. Uh, it's not really an accolade for me, that one, even my cousins won't touch him. <laughs> they are riddled, <laughs> to say the best. Uh, they're, they're, they're nice guys. I've come a long way since my childhood days. I'm now a plumber, uh, which for a girl, yeah, I always get a bit of an uh, but it's a bit shit because plumbers always come with the odd saying, oh, plumber's always late, which for a female comedian, a uh, female plumber, sorry, very different connotations of being always late. Um, means not only do I have a shit job, I also can't get a date um, because nobody wants that awkward phone call nine months later. You know, that's just bad. I've, um, I've had some interesting jobs. I've just come, I've been late up to Edinburgh. I've spent the last week as a uh, clearing hotline operator for, let's face it, want wannabe university students. Um, they don't quite get the grades that they were hoping for, they get me on the phone! So I, uh, yeah, I had a glorious five days of, hello dumbass! <laughs> yeah! Have you told your parents yet? And how is daddy taking it? Yeah, you shouldn't have smoked all the money he gave you! Um, that was nice, I learned the phonetic alphabet on day one, and then by two, I got a bit creative with it, um, which was nice, so I would say Mary had phoned me on day two of not getting into Durham, and I'd say, Mary, Mary, yeah, can you spell your name for me, Mary? That's that M, is that M for November, or for McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, you should make a note of that too, darling. Okay, okay, and, and then that's an A, is it? Oh, you got one then. That's a good try. Well done. That's the pointy one, yeah? Okay, just so we're on the same page. Yeah, so um, that was a nice job. I, I, was, I was quite excited. I was doing the clearing hotline for Kent University, which means we pretty much opened the doors and said, come on in. It's, uh, you're going to be slumming it, but you'll have fun. Um, um, I, I reckon probably the Oxford and Cambridge clearing hotline is just one person in a room going, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I quite like that. The only thing that got me through was having Crick Info on constant refresh. I'm a massive cricket fan. And uh, the Ashes, any Aussies in? You're not, you're not Aussie? No! Yes! You can be my friend just for that response. No, I love the Ashes. It's the only competition in the world where you're avidly wanting your dreams to turn to dust. Oh, come on, there's irony in that. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm also, I'm a, I'm a comedian with irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah, well, it's a lot of shits and giggles. <laughs> it's some um, nice grains there. Don't, don't do the puns, little girl. Stick to what you're good at. Pipes. Um, not in a Sherlock Holmes kind of way. Of, oh, I'm so old. No. Um, put that there. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? IBS. It's, it's an interesting thing to have. It makes your body pretty fucking temperamental. One minute your stomach's a bit sort of like Guantanamo Bay. Um, it's just like holding on to everything for no apparent reason and for an indefinite amount of time, which is um, uncomfortable to everyone, especially spectators. And, um, and then like the next day, you're a bit more like a slot machine saying you get the right combination of fruit and the grand prize just woo, straight out the bottom. It's, um, yeah, that's pretty. Nice groans. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's nice. It's, it pissed me off when I got diagnosed with it because I'd been quite ill for, for a couple of months. And I went to the doctors and I explained all my symptoms, blah, blah, blah. And um, the doctor said, and I was just, oh, no, don't, don't even worry about it. You've just got um, a touch of irritable bowel syndrome. And I was like, what was I? Going, is it irritable? I was like, irritable. Nothing else in the world would get away with this. My bowel has been getting away with murder. And it just gets irritable. Oh, like, have some peptidism. You'll be fine. Nothing else would ever get away with that. You'd never get Robert Mugabe in a room and everyone would go, oh, leave him. He's got irritable dictator syndrome. He's fine. <laughs> out of his diet, Zimbabwe, way up on the economic road. <laughs> yeah, bollocks, you've just got Morgan Changer eyes sitting in a meeting going, um, Bobby, do some decaf. <laughs> Come on, do it, do it for all of us. 
Uh, Morgan tried my own political figure, Google it, it's not spelled how you think. Um, yeah, IBS, not a sexy disease though. Um, I've kind of gotten over my shyness by, by entering national competitions and telling people I poo myself. Um, I still don't have a date, but I feel better. Um, yeah, it's not a sexy disease at all. I'm crap at sex. Um, and I always feel, yeah, I always feel like that's a big admission to make because most females and female comedians in particular are like, yeah, men are shit at sex. And I'm like, yeah, they probably are. I don't know. They've got no idea where the clitoris is. Mine's hidden under a lot of hair. <laughs> Well, I'm appalling. I've got the attention span of a bug. I get halfway through and I'm thinking about something else. I'm appallingly distracted by shiny things. So if it's got a bit glistening, oh, that and tinfoil, I'm screwed. Um, or I'm not, as the case is. Um, I've kind of decided I'm the sexual equivalent of a slinky. Remember those? It's kind of like, you see it, you think it's a good idea, you'll only ever use that once. Um, yeah, it'll probably stop halfway through. And you're going to have to prompt that if you want it to go down properly first time. <laughs> it's not going to happen. No, but it's, it's been lovely talking to you and I will, I'll end the set on the most depressing note of my life in that I realised the other day quite how long it had been since I had any of the love time. Um, mainly that I call it love time in a weird falsetto Michael Jackson. <laughs> Uh, probably that. Um, I, was, uh, I was out with a, a group of friends and one of my friends had hiccups and my other friend told her that the best way to get a fear, rid of hiccups was to have an orgasm with your fingers in your ears and I was just thinking, well, how is that possible? <laughs> my fingers are in my ears. I've got quite creative with my elbows though, so if you want any tips, give me a shout. I'm going to Thanks very much.